Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome my name's Simone. Today I'm going to do a video on Micah's cradle cap and his teething rash that he had on his hand and his face. I'll insert a clip or some photos here of what it looked like a month or so ago. I'm just, oh, I'm just trying to show his little face. So he's teething, as I said. Um, hey, can you see this rash? It's been there for quite a while now, and then it seems to go a little bit when I put sheer butter on, and then it comes back again. But I'm going to show you now. So it's Sunday, and I'm going to put sheer butter on, and on his hand and see if it goes. So I wanted to show you what his hand looks like. Can you see it's quite dry? I thought it was eczema but the chemist said that it's from him sucking on his hand with teething. So I'm going to see if I can put sheer butter on and take it away. So yeah, if you are new here, um, Micah has been teething for quite a while and he had a really chapped hand and he had like, um, ch like chap in here, like, is it, yeah, chap, it was chapped here as well. And I found using sheer butter was really, really useful. I have made another video about where I talk about sheer butter and the benefits, which I will link above and below. But I was rubbing that on his hand because when I went to the chemist, he said it was a teething rash. I thought it might have been eczema. But obviously, because he was sucking his hand, there wasn't really anything that they could give him on prescription because, you know, the chemicals obviously might not be good for him if he's going to be sucking his hands. So I put the sheer butter on, like, before he went to bed and also in the day, and it's really, really cleared it up. And in regards to his cradle cap, that was really, really bad as well. And what I noticed was it looked like his hair wasn't growing as much on the top as it was at the side. If any of you have experienced this with your children, then please leave a comment down below. But when I was speaking to another mum about this, like I don't know whether this is true or not, but she said um, someone she knew had a baby that had didn't have loads of hair but had so much cradle cap and when they put like coconut oil and it softened it they brushed it gently and the cradle cap came away, came away and then the hair started growing so I thought what have I got to lose I might as well put it on his um, scalp because it was super super dry and it was flaking quite a lot and it's cleared it up completely I really wish that I would have used the sheer butter when he was like really really small to see what it would have been like but it's cleared it up and I would say that his hair is looking a bit thicker on top but it might just be me or it might just be that it's was going to grow anyway but his, his scalp just looks in so much of a better condition I don't know whether he's going to let me show you what it looks like but it's it's actually really cleared up which is great and his hand as well I'll see if I can show you his hand hey. I can't remember whether it was his hand or the other hand but look you can't see anything I will try and take a picture of what it looked like when he's asleep later. But yeah, it's Brilliant. So I use organic unrefined shea butter and I just get that from Amazon and it's just brilliant for everything like I said in one of my previous videos. Sorry the baby's just getting upset now. So if you did find this video useful then please give it a thumbs up and share 
and if you are new here then please um, subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos because I do make lots of these types of videos and clothes hauls and childbirth, labour, pregnancy, all sorts of types of videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!